All right, hello and welcome to the demo for Rogue Knight. Uh, this is a game that comes out, I don't know, the fourth quarter of 2024, so just a couple of months away, really. I mean, it's not too far. Let's begin our little adventure here with our guy. Fundamental Foraging. We're going to get three berries. Gather berries to prevent hunger. Approach a bush and press E to collect. If you don't have any food at the start of a new day, you will gain the hungry condition and it will incur a penalty to damage output. Any survivors that you have rescued will not produce resources if they are not fed daily. Ooh. Well. Q. Well, we picked up some... some rocks. Actually, no, I think these are berries. I think these are berries. They... They look like, um... It looks like a rock. Okay, but I did it. All right, so now I need 30 wood to build a structure. This resource includes wood, stone, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, so stand near it, press the thing. Cool, cool, gotcha. Wait, can I chop down the tree? I don't want to chop down the tree. Can't chop down the tree. You know, this is a pretty nice tutorial so far. Um, it's a very decent kind of, like, introduction to the game. Not too stressful, rather chill. Ooh, I found a door. Can't go in the door. It's locked. I need a key. The door is closed. I just lock it. It's from a song. Electronic Supersonic. Combat basics. Kill a zombie. You'll have to fight to survive. Press the right mouse button to attack with your equipped weapon. Oh, alright. The animation for gathering and attacking looks kind of similar, so... Not like a like a huge deal, but uh, there's our little zombie dude. Hello, Mr. Zombie. I'm gonna have to kill you to death. I like that he's carrying a bunch of gold. Each character class has its own unique ability, shield, stealth, or sprint. Alright, yeah, I I have the shield ability. I've been using it quite often just for fun. Oh, he stabbed me. Little jerk face. Oh my god, I have too much wood. Oh, nobody's ever said that before. That I... N never mind. Let's not, um... Let's not go that route and continue that line of thoughts. All right. When you have enough uh, collected, re or when you have connected enough resources, you may begin to build structures. B. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of want to build it over here by all these zombies. Probably a bad idea. I feel like that spot right there is, you know, a perfect spot for putting my my fire. Like, it just looks really good. Sweet. And being by the fire looks like it um, actually increases my health. That's pretty sweet. Uh, we can also build this. We'll just put that there. Definitely doesn't um, generate health that quickly. 
But now we can do a lore, a plot of land that grows over time. Alright, use to store more resources and stuff like that. Probably get some more. Ooh, it's getting nighttime. Yeah, you know what? I'm probably just going to go and start building this little house situation. Something in the way. The floor? Really? All right. Uh... All right. And then add a wall. Oh no, I did I drink my medicine. Well how do I rotate this wall? Oh I I, I don't. Uh I messed up. I messed up pretty badly. With what I was trying to do here. Because I was trying to, like, actually... You know... Do something a little bit differently. Um... I don't seem to have, like, an, um... Oh, look at that. I have a light. Alright, hold on. Where is the option to bring up the journal? Alright. Alright, let's see. Where you'd like to build structures must be built near a light source. You know, that makes sense. Um, start your base by building a campfire and a workbench. I did that. Okay, I wonder if I can destroy the workbench because I kind of messed up uh, with the placements. If I can, it's not very clear on exactly how to um, do so. But I think um, it would be important to... I think this crop of land, or this little thing that grows, I think that's going to bring us food on a continual basis, which means if I save some people, they'll be able to um, survive and live rather comfortably. Yeah, I... I completely butchered this build. No, whatever. We're gonna just go exploring. I don't know what the worst could happen is. I feel as though whatever's down here, these zombies are like kind of destroying. Kind of a jerk move by the zombies. But I shall teach them a lesson with my sword or my rusty dagger, knife, whatever it is that I have. I wonder if there used to be, like, a person down here and I just completely failed to save them. They get, didn't get down here in time. Which honestly makes me a little bit sad because now there's... It's one less cool person that I can invite over to my newly created terrible house design. Because it is very bad. For the moment, like, it's going to get better. This is going to be, like, a really cool little town, I think. I'm, I'm... Maybe. All right. So, it says this is, like, storage, right? Used to store more resources. Well, does that mean that I can hold more resources? Because I don't see a way to put anything in it. Um, I 
Hell, this is... What is that, like... It's a lot of people. They're all stuck. Nobody wants to fight me. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, whoops. I need that gold, though. Okay, I got a key. Which, um... There's that building... Or that door down there somewhere. Which... I don't know. Probably leads to, um... Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory's location. I never understood how, like, any of that flew. Like, how did... How did people look at that and say, You know what? It's okay. This guy's, like... Drowning people in chocolate rivers. Uh, it's not a big deal. So I, I definitely picked up a sword. But it doesn't look like I could use it. I'm like kind of confused. It seems like these enemies are like never ending. I don't know if there's, like, a spawn point up there. I'm tempted to try to go and, you know, find out and then kill them, but... I might, uh, might have, like, a little infinite amount of gold stuff going on here. I don't know. Well, I guess I'm going to go build some more lots of land. We'll do three of those. The workbench doesn't seem to really do much of anything. Like, I can add a door, but... Well, does it even matter to build a door? I, I don't know if I need to, like, really close up this house uh, to make it complete. Even then, like, I can't do anything with it anyway. Um, I'll see. I did pick up a new weapon. It just went all the way over here in, like, a different spot. Alright, whatever. Anyway, let's go. I got the keys. I'm gonna go into that house that I... Or the, uh, the, the room in the cave. See if we can't go in there and potentially uh, get ourselves somebody. Nice map. Doesn't help. Not sure where it is. Not sure where I am on, on the map. Oh, well, that's nice. Those who survived. Some have survived the attack of Alendris and the wave of undead that followed in its wake. Rescuing these survivors will allow you to access to more structures, and when placed in your base, they will join in your cause. That is what I want to do. That is what I would say is the most important part of the game at the moment. I really want to find some people. So I'll be honest, like, I didn't really do a whole lot of looking um, to see, like, what the game was about and everything. I just kind of, like, looked at the graphics and I was like, oh, you know what? I really like the way this looks. Um, you know, it seems like it's going to be a pretty decent game. Like, it's got some survival aspects. And overall, it just seems entertaining. And I got to say, I'm pretty impressed with the, the experience so far. It's been... Um, hmm... Well, I found somebody. I just don't know how to get to him. Uh, but yeah, it's been really impressive so far. The combat is... Eh, it's okay. Like, it's not super great. Like, it, um, it's very basic. But it's honestly pretty satisfying. I imagine that as time goes, we'll find, like, some other weapons or things that kind of give us a little bit more of an, a different experience. 
the enemy AI is... It's a little bit on the... You know... I don't want to say questionable side. It's not like the word that I'm looking for, but... It seems to kind of struggle a little bit uh, with what they're doing. I'm glad to see you. I thought I'd die here. Cool. Good, good, good for you, dude. Um... I'm forever your debt. My name's Mortimer. Call on me whenever you may. Alright, I don't know why it was, like, not quite working. Death is inevitable, and when it comes, you'll be able to use the heads of zombies. You have failed to purchase permanent upgrades. After death, all resources and structures will be reset. Well, let's try to stay alive for five days. Death is inevitable, huh? What if I just refuse to die? I mean, there's a possibility that I refuse to die. I am very intrigued to see what the... Um, what appears to be roguelike elements are going to be. I'm also curious as whether or not, like, some of the... Some of the things that I found, like... The stumps, the wood, you know, the plants. Are those things going to come back? Uh, are they going to respawn? How much is it going to matter, like, where I place stuff? Alright, the so work... This guy will, um... Uh, he's going to cut some stone every day. Sweet. That's that's pretty awesome. A cold stone floor, a cold stone wall. Uh, you know what? That's super cool. But let's just build some plants instead. Alright, so he's going to keep continuing to get into some stone, which is important. Um, obviously, I need some more people in order to do stuff. Um... I feel like I'm really taking advantage of the pathfinding here. And I know that I said, like, it's unlikely to, that I'm going to die, but... Um, one thing I've noticed about this katana, yeah, it does more damage, but it's got an animation where it looks like it's doing two attacks. But it doesn't appear to do two attacks. It very much looks like it's doing just one. Uh, because that second hit doesn't seem to hit them. Alright, I don't want to die, so I'm going to just go back and chill. I wonder if I use, like, more... More light. If that would increase how quickly uh, this stuff... You know, like, it regenerates my health? I don't think that's the case, but... What's the worst that happens? I like this. It looks really nice. Hello, buddy. Need a wall put up? Not really. I mean, probably. It probably would be important to add a wall, but... I don't think I want to do that just yet. I mostly just want to kind of keep myself alive, you know? Um... And he said, you know, the, just to survive the day 10, or day 5, which I'm easily going to do because my little dude's pretty pretty much a badass. Alright, but I want to go explore a little bit. I feel like that's, um, you know, what I should be doing instead of uh, cowering in the corner. Just let these guys... Follow me down a little bit. I definitely think that there's like an endless supply of these zombies. Which seems like it's actually probably a bonus. Like I think that's probably for the best. Um, I 
I'm thinking I might need to get like a farmer. Um, because even though I'm supposed to get like, I don't know, it seems like the produce, not the produce, but the plant stuff is growing on a daily basis, it doesn't seem like they're necessarily, um, you know, kind of coming around. Oh, yeah, have you seen a mining pick around here? No, dude, I just got here. Like, did you find me a pickaxe? Nope, but I will go and look for it, and I will find it, because that is the benevolent sort of cool dude I am. It is a new sword. No, it's a dagger. Nobody wants a dagger. Oh, a great axe. It's a little slower than a katana, but I am going to use it because it looks cool. Oh, jeez. Well, you know what? So much, um... God, really? I didn't even make it to day five because I got too sure of myself with the axe. That's okay, though. You know, now we get to, like, take a look at everything and see what happens. Yeah, thanks, witch. All right. So, let's see. Grasping range, here's a range which items can be picked up. Doesn't seem like it's something I need. Uh, increase the amount of storage gain from all crates and barrels. That seems like potentially a good sign. Uh, amount of gold gained from all enemies. I don't think I need that just yet. Pulse generation. I like it. Ooh. I'm doing this. Yeah. Unlocks the ability to choose a class before starting a new run. I want that so that I can try to be something different. Shield prowess, one with your shadows, and land strider, which... Um... I think I have 72. So it looks like, I mean, I, I probably could do some of these. Um, I'm not going to use any of these, though. I think I'm going to go here, and, um, we'll upgrade this, and, and that. Continue. Sweet. So we can do a fourth character, which we don't know what it is. I'm going to try the ranger. Uh, I'm not going to really spend too much time on building. I'm going to focus on trying to go and uh, find the different locations, I think. Um... Wait, I'm a, I'm a ranger and I don't start with like, like a ranger weapon? Really? That seems like a strange choice. I also think it's kind of a little bit ridiculous that we're starting with the tutorial again. Like, it's, um, it's a new game. Uh, I mean, I'm continuing from where I left off. Um, I already know how to play. I already, I already know what I'm doing. I the, the character doesn't appear to be that much different uh, for me to think that it needs to be any different. Like, I mean, I don't think that I need to go through the tutorial again, but hey, it's just me. Like, it's not like it's not a big deal. I really hope the fourth character is a wizard. Not that it'll matter too much if, uh, you know, he starts off with a sword as well, but. I guess I'm going to still put my, my first location down. I think it's probably something that'll be beneficial. I'll try to make it actually to the fifth day, uh, and then jump in and try like a little bit of Gameplay with the rogue, with the stealth. See how that goes. So, like, I have a hard time trying to figure out. I don't know if the zombies are having pathfinding issues, uh, you know, because they seem to be getting stuck a lot in a lot of different places. Um, you know, or if it's just because they're zombies, they're kind of really shambling and just... You know, it's it's difficult for them to kind of figure out what they're doing. I don't know. Um, I don't want to make it sound like it's a it's a complaint because I, I wouldn't really consider it as much. 
it just you know it just feels a little bit off um, all right none of that matters i don't know does it still build if i get really far away it does sweet i don't believe i've gotten any keys i can't remember where i found the keys i think i killed the zombie for it I think it was down here. You know, if this was closer to the places I wanted to go, I would just build my stuff down here. That might have made sense. Ah, well. Nothing we can do about it now. You know, the zombie's like, I can't do this. I do wish the attacking was kind of mouse-based, um, instead of, like, which way you're facing. Um, the game does have controller support, from what I can tell, but I am using a mouse and a keyboard. And I find, you know, like, I have the mouse, and I'm, you know, I'm left-clicking, I get to do the stuff and everything. But I, I guess I wish that I was turning with the mouse, maybe? I don't, I don't know, it just... It definitely... That's why I got killed uh, before. It wasn't my carelessness with the axe. It totally was, but... Uh, let's build some plots of land so that uh, this will theoretically give us some food. Seems to take really a long time to um, actually get anything of value there, so... I uh, also need to build some crates, but I'm out of cash. And the zombies, of course, in the time that I need the most, are not heavily spawning. I really like the animation for, uh, you know, the wood as we break in. Like, as we're, like, destroying things to use them, um, you know, we get that cool kind of aspect of being able to actually see that we're doing something. Um, so our gathering has impact, and I think that's really well done. Really impressed. I'm actually really impressed with the graphics in general. Like, it's, the game has a very atmospheric kind of look to it. Um, you know, we've got trees. Yeah, there's not, like, a lot going on and stuff, but the way the tiles have been placed for the ground with the grass and the little rocks and everything... There may not be birds, or chipmunks, squirrels, snakes, rabbits, um, polar bears, and all those other things that live in forests. But there's enough going on that it looks like, a, you know, potentially a forest that, uh, did, you know, suffered from an alien, not an alien invasion, a zombie invasion. And I think the zombies actually get faster at night. Which is cool. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Find somebody. Gotcha, I'll last the days. These are all things that I can do, um, provided I get the weapons I need to actually survive. I'm not even going to talk to you, dude. The last time I talked to you, I then went and died immediately. I need to take my time and kill this guy so I can get his stuff. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. Oh, man. I thought he was, like... Like, stuck up against the wall, and I was going to take advantage of it. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. Sweet. Yeah, there's definitely, like, a pathfinding issue. So, like, I don't mean to take advantage of it, but I, I very much... I'm very much taking advantage of it. Uh, let's see. I don't want to really break any more of this stuff. I just want to find this dude's pickaxe so I can take him back to town. Well, not town, but, you know, the soon-to-be village of awesome town. Well, that's right. I guess my guy's name is Sir Robin because I just bravely ran away. The Monty Python and the Holy Grail reference. For anybody who doesn't know, highly recommended. It's a fantastic movie. Come 
Come on. Ugh. This katana is such a, like, such a tease with um, the attack because every time I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to hit these guys twice. Uh, but I never do. I know, I know. All the rocks, not all the rocks, but all the wood, we, we full up. I gotta find home dude's pickaxe so he'll come over to our house and do whatever it is he's going to do. Oh, I bet he's gonna get iron. That would make sense. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, these guys, man. So many zombies. If I was a pickaxe, where would I be? That's a good question, I don't know. Hope not, like, super deep into this place. Oh, what the crap? It's a ghost? Well, that was unexpected. Oh, because it was a skull, maybe. Oh, look at this game throwing me for a loop. Alright, she's dead. Ooh, what's this? Oh, a new place. Yeah, we'll just avoid these guys. Go explore. Oh, look at that. That guy's got a big sword. I was going to avoid you guys, but man, I want that sword. Uh, no sword, I don't think, but I did get a key, which is equally important. Alright. Oh, you know what? Look, look, there is a bow. Like, this whole time, I've, I've potentially had the bow. It looks... Oh, we got a person. What? Yeah. Who are you, Mr. Dude? I could use some food if you have any extra. I got food. Hey, thanks, friend. I'll be around if you need me. Sweet, we got ourselves a dude. He's gonna be my best friend. I will call him. I don't know. Shoo. I don't know. Whatever his name is, he's, he's now my best friend. Doesn't matter if he doesn't like me. I consider him to be my best friend. Alright, so we got we found a total of three people, but I've only brought one of them back um so far. So you know the bow, I I, I really wasn't sure what to expect with it. Um a little disappointed with the bow, but I think the reason for that is it's the directional based combat. Um, so it, you know, kind of locks you into really being in a specific, you know, direction to jump into that combat. And it, I, I think it just. I wish I had a little bit more control over where I'm shooting. I feel like being able to shoot diagonally would have been a really cool thing to do, so that I can't do it. It's just moderately disappointing. Overall, it's not like a big deal, but dude, this pick, this guy's pickaxe is, is nowhere. I feel like he sent me on a fool's errand. He was like, I don't like this guy in his green hat. I'm going to tell him that I want a pickaxe. He's going to go look for it because he seems like a nice dude. But he's going to get killed by the zombies, and then I'm going to take his hat, because I like the color green.
Yeah, I'm not gonna get you, Skull. You're not gonna get me with the ghost twice. Ooh, a door. Damn. That dude smacked me. Oh, there it is. We got it. Uh, I, I don't know if I want to, like, risk exploring further. Yeah, I do. Because it's also been... Oh, man, come on, stupid E. It's also, like, super beneficial to, to keep exploring. That's another thing that I think is pretty cool. Like, uh, how many keys do I have? I don't know. I don't know how many keys I have. I wish that was somewhere that I could see it. All right, more, more stiff. All right, might as well leave. Go get this other guy. Then I can go back, see what we, we can build. I think I'm going to have no problem surviving the remainder of the three days. I'm pretty proud of myself. I had the one death, and that was kind of an accident. I'm getting a little hubris in front of... I, I got a little too too sure of myself, you know? I, I messed up, man. I don't think I need this light anymore. Well, actually, I will. Alright. Hook our dude up. Oh, yeah, have you seen my mining pickaxe around here? You found it. Let's be getting a move on. Uh, we got another bow, which I don't need. Uh, I'm gonna go get the other guy first. I think I still have enough keys for it. I'm not sure. I hope so. But I wish I had a way to, like, really be able to tell. Like, I, I don't... I don't see the key anywhere in any of my stuff. Um... Because I'm pretty sure the symbol next to the zombie faces is... People. Like, how many people I have. And you know what? I think I'm wrong. I think that is the key. I think that is the symbol for key. So... Let's go back to town. Well, not town, but you know, it's it's the future town. It will be a town eventually. All right, so we can build um, a lumberjack. Oh, we'll put him here. Do another fire, just uh, kind of expand this a little bit, so we can. A little bit of stuff. Ooh. Oh, I'm out of wood. Alright. That's okay. Oh, a little zombie trying to come over to our little in-progress village and not have any of that nonsense. It seems like, you know, in theory, the oh, I, you know, we have our key, so I can get to get that guy. It seems like in theory, like, nighttime is going to be kind of dangerous, and that we're going to have a lot of zombies and other monsters that try to come and, like, attack our area. Uh, but right now, with the um, pathfinding, it seems to just get stuck in that corner, so it's it's very it's very much a non-threatening scenario at, this, at the current time frame. And, no. The... I was I was right the first time I think the symbol that's next to the zombie heads is actually uh, how many people I have at my base so oh that guy's got a spear I want a spear I also don't want to die Oh, no, he disappeared, but he came back. I am... Oh, he's dead. 
Oh, you son of a... Oh, man. I was so close. I was doing so well, and then I died. <sighs> All right, that was good. Amount of time hits between hits landed on yourself. Nah. Uh, I haven't even made it to a point where I'm actually hungry at all. These would all be kind of useful, it seems like. Um, but I don't really feel like I need those at this moment. We'll make those weaker, I guess. All right, well, let's uh, try the um, the rogue. All right, again with the uh, tutorial. So he can get invisible. Um, so really what I'm going to do at this point, because obviously, I mean, like, I died. I mean, I didn't, you know, bring everybody's stuff in uh, to kind of see, like, what the other people were going to do. But from what I can tell, it looks like, you know, whatever people you bring are actually going to be able to generate resources for you every night, which I think is a super good positive. Um, I hope he starts with the rusty sword as well. Anyway, so I just, I want to see kind of, like, what what else there is in the demo. I'm not going to try to get the other people and, and, you know, continue, like, trying to build the different things and everything. Um, outside of maybe uh, looking to see, like, some new person. When Eridon, Percival, Dimitri, and Odin failed to defeat the terrible Lich Necrosarian... Lander soon fell. The once glorious city is now the home of an undead horde. Perhaps you'll find something or someone there. Well, I will certainly look. Anyway, so like what I've experienced so far, it shows me that um, there's a there's a good amount of exploration of like going and finding different things. Um, I don't know that's, that wherever you put your base the first time is really going to be vastly important. It just seems like find a place that you'll be able to kind of defend it, uh, that you have plenty of room for growth and, and build different things. I imagine uh, you'll be able to kind of just change things on the fly, possibly. I'm not really 100% sure how that's going to work, but... It's very cool. It's a very, very cool experience. I, you know, the game's coming out, like, super soon. So, right. Sure, I'm not making stuff up. Oh, yeah. Fourth quarter. I, I've been playing this so long that I forgot what I said earlier. So, I mean, this is coming out in the fourth quarter of the year. And, um... I think it's like one of the always something that's a little bit of a downside when it comes to a demo is a lot of times you start to play something and you have such a good time with it. You just want to keep playing it. And this is a demo that has a, a lot of content. I could easily play this for, you know, the rest of the day. I could probably play it and play it all day tomorrow, like, and just have a good time run around killing zombies, uh, you know, finding my people and everything. Um, but I might as well save that for when the game actually comes out. I think this video giving you an idea of kind of like what to expect should hopefully be enough to, to hopefully pique your interest and um, result in adding it to your wish list. And yeah, look at this. It's a town. Like, I mean, this place is already built. I'm just going to come here next time and... Once I'm gonna just collect everybody, and then I'll come here and um, build all my stuff. You know, it'll take some time to clean everything out, but I figure that is a much better use of my time. They really don't like buildings. Which is kind of kind of beneficial, I guess. 
And I need a key. That's unfortunate. All right, I just I just want to do a little bit of more exploration before I call it good. Um, this place is pretty massive. There's quite a bit here. Ooh, an anvil. Oh, there's nobody here. We got a rug, a whole bunch of stuff that you need keys for. I mean, there's there is there is a considerable amount to to really look around and do. I am very surprised at how much stuff seems to be around here. Um, uh, it seems like we've reached a dead end, though. All right, let's see. Yeah, I was hoping the stealth was actually going to do, like, like perhaps some considerable damage or something. It doesn't really seem like it does a whole bunch. It just, um... It definitely does something, but... I mean, like, I think that I get, um... I don't know, invisible to the enemies, but overall it doesn't really do a whole bunch. Um, I wonder if I can survive long enough to get that spear. I would like to experience... the spear combat, at least. Just because I want to see what it's like. It's like one of the only things I haven't done yet. And I don't think this dude even dropped the spear. No, he didn't. Because why would he? Why would he do the thing that I wanted him to do? Man, what a disappointment. I was like all looking forward to that. I was like all excited. I was going to stab him with my new newfound abilities of having a spear. And I was denied. Anyway. Well, let's see if we can just build here just for... Just for fun. Yep. So it looks like we can come here and build stuff, which is means like when I play this for real, that's totally what I'm doing. It's gonna start right off the bat and do that. Turn this place back into a thriving metropolis. It's kind of like what Batman would do if Batman used his money for, I don't know, just improving Gotham as opposed to, you know, just being Batman, I guess. So I guess Bruce Wayne. Ooh, that's a spoiler. In, in case you didn't know that Batman was uh, Bruce Wayne, which I feel like that just, I've just made it worse by just doubling down. All right. Well, you know what? Um, I think my dude's about to get killed. Of course he is. Womp womp. I don't really have enough points because I used all of them. Um. Well. Dang. I like this. I really like this game. This is a very very fun and entertaining game. I think I'm probably going to just keep this installed. Oh, you can skip the tutorial. Well, I'm slow. I think I'm probably going to keep this installed and I'll probably play through it periodically as I play through other things because I really enjoy this demo. Like, it is a very satisfying game to play. Um, I like the progression. I don't know. It's very fun. Um, it's definitely one that I'm it's a game that went from I had no idea it even existed to one of the games that I am really, really looking forward to this year. So link is in the description. I highly recommend the demo if you like it, wishlist it, and uh, thanks for watching.